art is getting close attention from a discriminating group. The Ackland Art Museum houses a treasure trove of fine art and objects. And it's just off the famous busy bustling corner of Franklin and Cameron Streets in Chapel Hill. Well, as museums go, the Ackland is a relatively small and intimate museum. We're about 10,000 square feet. We, re we receive about 50,000 visitors a year. Since the dedication of the building in 1958, the Ackland Art Museum has quietly grown from William Ackland's initial endowment. One of his stipulations was that he be buried in the museum. So he actually created his own memorial, uh, which is also an art museum. An avid traveler throughout his lifetime, Ackland decided to leave his fortune to his fellow Southerners and memorialized himself by sharing his passion for art. We do have a, a we call it a mini encyclopedic collection, and we have works of art that go from the prehistoric to the contemporary. We have strengths of objects from Asia, from Africa, from Europe, and from America. In December, we learned from our longtime board member, Sheldon Peck, that he and his wife, Lena, planned to give us their entire collection, 134 drawings of the 17th and 18th centuries from Holland and Flanders. And we are so thrilled to have this collection, which can be shown only in short periods of time because they're all works on paper. So we've started an ongoing series called Focus on the Peck Collection. Students are working on drawings that have been recently given to the Ackland Art Museum. And this provides an opportunity for close study of works by really famous and you know, prolific artists. Normally, we would be in the classroom looking at digital images, which are you know, two removes away from the actual object. Here are undergraduate students working on original material, studying the hand of an artist for whom books and exhibitions have been dedicated. This is a West African woman who uh, was uh, likely a servant uh, in Amsterdam at the time. Uh, buying poultry at a market and so it gives you a, a good sense uh, just historically of the types of people that were living in Amsterdam at the time and, and the sort of people that Rembrandt would have been coming in contact with. It's, it's Rubens so I was really drawn by the name of it. it. You can see what he's trying to do and what he's focusing on and that's why I love being able to look at art and you get to see his hand and it was made 300 years ago and we're, stand, we're sitting here looking at it right now and I'm able to study it and it's just phenomenal. To, uh, to come in and, and get to see a Rembrandt out of the glass every day uh, really uh, put some spring in your stuff uh, in the morning. The Ackland Art Museum sees over 50,000 visitors each year and all the museum's programs including special exhibits, live music events, tours, family days, drawing classes for all ages and much more are free to the public. We've got a painting like this by Bronzino that People can come for a long period of time and just look at all the details, enjoy the rich color. Students are absolutely mesmerized by a work like this by a named artist whose work is well known. The Ackland Art Museum is now recognized on the global art scene. With its prestigious and growing collection, it's attracting new donations and always has something fresh to intrigue and inspire. The Ackland Art Museum is on the campus at UNC Chapel Hill at 101 South Columbia Street, and they're open Wednesday through Sunday. Remember, admission is free. For more information, give them a call at 919-966-5736 or go online to ackland.org.